Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math olympiad exponential equation problem and here we have x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equals to 17 and here we solve this problem for the values of x and y. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we uh, multiply and divide uh, the exponent of both of these terms by 2 so that it will be written as x to the power of y and its whole power 2 by 2 minus y to the power of x and its whole power 2 by 2 equals to 17 and now uh, in the next step here we use the nice exponential law and uh, you very well know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n so now we use this nice exponential law on uh, the left hand side of this equation uh, so that we write uh, in this term as x to the power of y over 2 and its whole square minus we write this expression as y to the power of x over 2 and its whole square equals to 17. So now this equation converted in exponential form and now we change uh, this exponential form to the uh, algebraic form so that we will take uh, here a equals to x to the power of y over 2 and we will take b equals to y to the power of x over 2. So we substitute these two values to the above equation uh, so that our above equation will becomes in this form. Uh, so it will be written as uh, a squared minus b squared equals to 17. Because here we take x to the power of y over 2 equals a and y to the power of x over 2 equals 2 b. So after substituting these values, we get this form. So now here we use uh, the nice algebraic formula and we know that a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times of a plus b equals to 17. And uh, now you focus on the left hand side and you see here we have two factors which are multiplied by each other so now we uh, make two factors to the right hand side so uh, the the factors in which we get 17 are 1 multiplied by 17 and 17 multiplied by 1 and now here we make the relation between a minus b and a plus b and we know that a minus b is always less than a plus b so here we choose those factors in which uh, the first value is lesser than the second value. So if you focus here, so 1 is less than 17. So uh, it is uh, uh, corresponding to this equation, this inequality. And if you see here, it is 17 is greater than 1. So it cannot be hold this equation. So now uh, we compare um, these pairs by this equation. And uh, after comparing um, both factors to the both of the sides, we will get the value of uh, a plus b equals to 17 and the value of a minus b equals to 1. So here we call this as equation number 1 and we call this as equation number 2. So now we solve these two equations and we easily get the values of x and y, uh, sorry the values of a and b. So uh, in order to find the values of a and b, first we add equation number 1 and equation number 2. And you see here, this is positive b and negative b are cancelled by each other and we get, um, we just add a and uh, after adding 1 and 2, we will get here 2 times of a equals to 17 plus 1 equals to 18. And this equation implies that we have the value of a equals to 9. So uh, this is the value of a and now in order to find the value of uh, b uh, we subtract equation number one and equation number two so when we subtract these two equations uh, then uh, we uh, should must be change the signs uh, and when we change the signs uh, so it will become in this form so um, after changing the sign we can start out this a and we add this b so when we subtract 1 and 2, we get here 2 times of b equals to 17 minus 1 equals to 16. So this equation implies that we move this 2 to the right hand side and we get the value of b equals to 8. So uh, this is the value of uh, a and b. And now we uh, move uh, towards the given 
equation uh, and we see here the value of a is x to the power of y over 2 and the value of b is y to the power of x over 2 so now we back substitute the values of a and b here so we have the value of a is 9 and the value of b is 8 so uh, here we put the values of a and b and we get x to the power of y over 2 equals to 9 and the value of b is y to the power of x over 2 equals to 8. So now in the next step first we will remove this uh, 1 over 2 on both of these terms so that we will take the squares on both of the sides and it will become in this form x to the power of y over 2 and its whole square equals to 9 square and in this case we have y to the power of x over 2 and its whole square equals to 8 square. So now uh, we need a little bit simplifications here. So this 2 and 2 are cancelled by each other and we get x to the power of y equals to 9 square and we know that 9 square equals to 81 and this 2 and 2 are gone and we get y to the power of x equals to the square of 8 is 64. So uh, now if we here we again make the uh, prime factors of uh, or we make any factors of 81 and 64 so that we uh, write this 81 as 3 to the power of 4. We know that 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81 and in the left hand side we have x to the power of y and now we compare both of the sides. So here we compare base with base and exponent with exponent. So uh, when we compare its base so we have x equals to 3 and y equals to 4 so these are the uh, final values of x and y and similarly in this case uh, we make the factors of 64 and we write it as 4 to the power of 3 we know that 4 to the power of 3 equals to 64 uh, so that uh, here uh, we now we again compare both of the sides and we compare the exponent and we get x equals to 3 and when we compare it base then we get y equals to 4. So if you compare this solution with this solution it remains same. So it means that uh, x equals to 3 and y equals to 4 be the only solution of uh, the given question. And this is the, our final answer and now uh, here uh, we check uh, our final answer is uh, the values of x and y is satisfied our given question statement or not. So here we have the question statement is x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equals to 17 and now we substitute the values of x and y. So we have the value of x is 3 to the mm, 3 and value of y is 4. Similarly, here we have the value of y is 4 and value of x is 3 equals to 17. So we know that 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81 and 4 to the power of 3 equals to 64 equals to 17 and 81 minus 64 equals to 17 equals to 17. So this shows that uh, the values of x and y are satisfies the given question statement and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much. For watching this video, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.